Alyssa Beckerman has returned, but we don't know yet if she's going to make it. The score for Dancer on beam, 8.850. I think that's severe. Now, the judges only gave her a 9.5 start value. She missed some bonus elements. Anytime you have a major deduction on a move that you're going for bonus points, you not only get the deduction for execution, but you also don't receive the bonus points. So she got doubly hit for having that balance bobble on that difficult combination. Well, be careful now. Now remember, she needed a 9.070 to beat Beckerman. So as it stands now, that score won't be good enough. However, for the last few minutes, the judges have been looking at the tape of Jamie Dancer's beam routine. An inquiry has been filed by her coaches. There is a chance her score will be changed. Let's give you the score for Morgan White on beam 9.4. She doesn't make it. Just scant tenths separating the third and fourth spots. See, the problem with that final pass is you're looking there. The judges are analyzing, did she come to a complete stop? You need to stick the landing. She knew she didn't stick the landing. She probably took, should have taken one step and closed, but instead, she kept moving. Now, what do you do with that? She knew she wasn't going to nail the landing, but she didn't want to also take two huge steps and then come to a stop. She put it right in the hands of the judges, and they don't know what to do with it. <laughs> it's between Dancher and Beckerman. Well, Alyssa Beckerman will be going to China with the U.S. World Team. The judges upgraded Jamie Dancer's start value and thus her score by two-tenths of a point. But that is not enough to beat Beckerman. So the top three American gymnasts coming out of the trials, Elise Ray, Alyssa Beckerman right there, thought she was out of it, very, very disappointed, went back into the runway, and when she came out, she had worked her way onto the team by two-tenths of a point. Let's go down to Kim Anthony. Kim? <laughs> well, guys, um, Alyssa, you just made your very first world championship team, and your meet was going great up until the last event. What went through your mind when you fell? Oh, God. When I fell, I didn't... It didn't hit me quite as I was doing the skill that, that I fell. I kind of just get back on the beam, and I was just thinking hit the rest of my set, and uh, I better hit it, you know, real good. So uh, that's all I was thinking about was just hitting the rest of my team. Well, how hard was it to wait for the final decision to be made? It was tough. I was hanging tight in there and crossing my fingers and just praying that uh, I still had a shot. Well, you made it, and congratulations. Good luck at Worlds. Once again, the top three, Elise Ray, Jeanette Antolin and Alyssa Beckerman. Let's go down to Kim Anthony. Well, Jeanette, two years ago, you were an alternate for the World Championships. This year, you made the team, and you had so much pressure on you going into balance beam. What did you think about right before your event? Um, before every event, I just said a prayer to God, and I just went out there and went as hard as I could and tried to do better than I did on Thursday, and it all worked out, so I'm really happy about it. Well, congratulations. At least you came out of this meet on top. It was your first major win in a major competition. What do you think about making it to the World Championships? Um, I'm so excited to represent the United States at my first world. So, and we have a great team going in, and it'll be a lot of fun. So I'm really looking forward to it. All right, congratulations to both of you. I wish you the best. Thank you. All right, back to you, Chris. All right, Kim Anthony and Jamie Dancher. What a performance today. She comes oh so close. She will be on the team as the alternate, but she will not compete in China. She ended up missing the team by 13 one thousandths of a point. That's a rough thing to watch. All right. We're going to come back one more time. We'll meet the entire United States World Championship team right after this. <laughs> The 1999 USA Gymnastics World Team Trials have been brought to you by Aussie Hair Care. We do hair a little different. 
and by Visa, preferred card of the USA Gymnastics Team. Visa, it's everywhere you want to be. There they are, the 1999 team that is going to China to represent the United States in the World Championships. Vanessa Atler did not compete here. Petitioned onto the team, as was Kristen Maloney and Jenny Thompson. Beckerman very, very happy. Dancer will be the alternate. A strong alternate, we should say. And she needs to stay prepared because if there's an injury, she steps onto the team. Krista Maloney looks terrific. Better than she's looked in a long time. Clean form and better execution. And this way, and of course, Jenny Thompson. How strong a team, in your opinion, will this be at the Worlds? This is an excellent team. The toughest teams in the world right now are Romania, Russia, China. I think the U.S. can challenge them for a medal. They'll need to be consistent, and perhaps the experience that these gymnasts had tonight will help them. That was enormous pressure. I forget how scary the final trials are. Man. We'll have the competition to select the men's team next Monday, right here on ESPN. And coverage of the World Championships from China, two weeks from tonight. Thanks to Max Groove on the piano for his help with our opening music. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. For Bart Connor and Kim Anthony, I'm Chris Marlowe. So long from Kansas City. <laughs>